Um, I hope you enjoy that dramatic intro. Anyway, the meal plot for this dish is very simple. It's garlic, shallots, and these dry shrimp. Um, you can probably find these at most most Asian markets. Um, you reconstitute in hot water. It takes about 10 minutes. And the garlic, we're just going to pound through. You can leave them like this in the dish. It's fine. Um, the shallots, we're, we're going to dice a little bit more finely. Uh, the dry shrimp is soaked through. We're just going to squeeze out the water and r roughly chop. And we're just going to bisect the sagua. That's what it looks like inside. And the skin comes off very easily. Uh, what I like to do is take off the ridge first while turning the vegetables so I make sure I get a round um, peeled melon at, at the end and instead of washing it I'm just gonna wipe it down with a damp paper towel I I don't want this to soak up any more liquid um, it's it's quite a wet vegetable to begin with so we head and tail, now we bisect, and then quarter lengthwise. And you want to cut these fairly large pieces. Um, there's, there's a lot of texture to this vegetable, and we want to retain that throughout the cooking. Okay, so there's your mise en place ready to go. And we have a pan over medium heat, um, dash of canola oil or any neutral. I'm, I'm actually using rapeseed. Uh, pinch of salt. And we start sweating down the shrimp, the shallots, and the garlic. And we want to season um, throughout the, the different stages of this dish. So I season the mirepoix, now I'm seasoning the melons once they go in. I'm going to toss that through. And then just a tablespoon of water to get the steam going. And we're going to find a lid and let it steam gently for maybe a minute. Then we're going to check it. It doesn't take long. Uh, you don't want to overcook this. It's just going to turn completely to mush. Now I'm just squeezing the melons. There you go. Um, it actually makes its own sauce. You, you, you see how there was that coating of, you know, kind of shiny glossy liquid and you know we didn't add any sauce or any stock to this dish and you just plate up no garnish doesn't need anything it's just as simple as it gets pretty traditional um, Taiwanese recipe and anyway I, I hope you enjoy the video